Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I just downloaded the new version of the 2022 version of Illustrator. I know I'm a little late to the trend, but I wanted to show you how you can make some really simple 3D shapes um, with their new 3D functions. It's super easy to make. So we're going to make a heart. I'm going to grab my pen tool, so press P on your keyboard. And then I'm just going to draw these this line. I'm going to remove the fill color and add a stroke. You can choose whichever color you want. I'll make a blue heart. You want to open up your stroke panel and add a bunch of weight. And then change the cap to round cap. That's how I make hearts, it's super easy. Adjust the weight till you're happy with your heart. Then you can go to object, expand, and press OK. We're going to resize this a little bit. And now you can go to effect, 3D in materials, and we're going to go with inflate. Now this 3D in materials uh, window will pop up. And you have a bunch of options, which are really awesome. You can adjust the depth of your 3D shape, but you can't see it now because we're looking at the front of it. So let's first rotate it. You can either use this with these little icons or just rotate it from here. So we're going to choose the rotation of our little heart. Something like this looks cute to me. We're going to go with inflate both sides so that it's going to be inflated on both sides and not only on the front. And now we'll be able to see the extrusion depth since we rotated it. So you can decide how thick you want it. I don't want it to be that thick. I want it to be pretty, pretty thin. And you can decide how rounded you want it. I want it all the way rounded so that it actually kind of looks like a heart. Now, the cool thing about this, you can change the perspective as well. Um, you can actually pick a material, like a 3D actual material, which is so cool, but we're just gonna go with a simple version right now and just change the lighting. Uh, I want the lighting to be from the top left and you can adjust the intensity of it, the rotation of the light. So I want it to be something like this, the height and the softness of it. If you scroll down all the way, you can also add a shadow from within the 3D panel, which is really, really nice thing they added. So just click here on the, on the uh, thing. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> uh, you can decide where you want your shadow to be positioned. If you want it to be underneath, or behind it and you can adjust the distance now you're gonna see it this way because we haven't rendered it yet but you can decide the shadow bounds and uh, I want it to be pretty close to it then you can just click here to render it and it will take a little bit depending on the complexity of your shape and whatnot and the power of your computer Anyways, we're just going to wait for it to render. And that that's basically it. Um, it's such a simple and intuitive addition that they have made for this new version of Illustrator. And it's just so easy to use, as you see. Like, you can literally make any shape you want 3D, any letter, any font, and you can add shadows directly in it. And you can add different kinds of materials to it. Um, so I suggest you go ahead and take a look at it and uh, um, try out different stuff because you can get some really, really, really amazing effects by using this. Anyways, that's it. That's my render. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.